In the quiet town of Elmwood, where nothing ever seemed amiss, a mere doll held a sinister secret that would soon unravel the lives of its unsuspecting owners, triggering a chain of horrifying events. It was an ordinary Friday afternoon in Elmwood Manor, a beautiful, century-old house nestled on the outskirts of town. The softly warm sun rays seeped through the ornate stained glass windows, casting a kaleidoscope of colors on the plush carpet. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee lingered in the air as Sarah and John, a young couple, went about their daily routines. Little did they know that an innocent-looking antique doll, tucked away in the attic, held a dark energy that awaited its chance to wreak havoc. Sarah had stumbled upon the doll while rummaging through forgotten belongings one rainy afternoon. Its porcelain face wore a faded smile, masked behind bright blue eyes that seemed unervingly alive. The doll wore a delicate dress, frayed at the edges and stained by time. Intrigued by the mysterious find, Sarah decided to display it as a charming centerpiece in her newly refurbished living room, unbeknownst to them, the doll had a name, Amelia, the creation of a tormented soul seeking revenge. For decades, Amelia had terrorized countless unsuspecting victims, her malevolence fueled with every new owner she possessed. She had mastered the art of hiding in plain sight, biding her time. Waiting to strike when least expected, as the days turned into weeks, Sarah and John couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right. Strange occurrences became commonplace, objects moved on their own, eerie whispers echoed through the halls, and a chilling presence filled the once warm and inviting home. The couple found themselves plagued by nightmares, visions of their worst fears unfolding before them, all traceable back to the presence of the unnerving doll. Unable to ignore the mounting evidence, Sarah turned to the internet in search of answers. Late nights were spent delving into forums and stories of haunted dolls, stumbling upon tales that mirrored their own experiences. The words of others brought them a mix of solace and dread, knowing that they were not alone in their nightmare. One particular account caught Sarah's attention, an elderly woman had recounted her traumatic encounter with Amelia. The doll whispered secrets to her, unearthed long buried sins, and unleashed a relentless fury that left her broken. Desperate, Sarah reached out to the woman, hoping for guidance or perhaps a glimmer of hope, Amy, the elderly woman, responded with a sense of urgency in her message. She warned Sarah and John that there was only one way to end Amelia's reign of terror, an ancient ritual that required immense courage and profound sacrifice, a looming presence, twisted and sinister, wrapped itself gradually around the couple, tugging at the seams of their sanity. With every passing day, the once idyllic Elmwood Manor transformed into a nightmarish labyrinth from which escape seemed impossible. Driven by a mixture of fear and determination, Sarah and John embarked on a treacherous journey, tracing the origins of Amelia and gathering the necessary tools for the ritual. They had to confront the dark secrets lurking within themselves, facing their deepest fears head-on. If they were to have any chance of banishing the malevolent spirit forever, the clock ticked down, every second infused with the impending confrontation. As the hour approached, Sarah and John entered the attic, the place where it all began. They lit candles, their flickering light casting eerie silhouettes on the wooden beams above. With trembling hands, they invoked the forbidden words, commanding Amelia to release her hold on their lives. The room filled with a deafening silence as anticipation hung thick in the air, and then, in a burst of blackened smoke, Amelia was gone, exhausted and relieved, Sarah and John collapsed onto the attic floor, their bodies drained from the ordeal. As they looked at each other, a shared sense of triumph and a lingering unease settled over them. They had faced true terror and emerged victorious, but they would forever carry the memories of Amelia's haunting, yet, life began to slowly return to normal in Elmwood Manor. The sun rays once again bathed the plush carpet, and the sea of whispers and nightmares faded into a distant echo. Sarah and John held on to the hope that their ordeal was finally over, 
praying that Amelia's reign of terror had come to an end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy watching these true stories from the internet, please like, share, and subscribe.